Hi frolicking friends and welcome back to my channel for a brand new episode of my magical bloodlines of familiar legacy. Last episode our main witch Clipso had to get married so she could earn an inheritance from a long lost fairy relative who obviously had some mischief up their sleeve um, because in order to get her inheritance she had to marry someone and so she met Altair and got him to the altar just in time to get her inheritance which as you can see now she actually has a house thanks to all that money so I'll show you the house here in a second but first things first as you can see her new hubby has a brand new look now that he's officially part of the household, he got a makeover fitting for a spouse. He has that purple and yellow look that we need for the next generation, which is based off of the Sixum Owl familiar. And I have to say, he spruced up pretty nicely. I think he is so handsome, and I'm glad that we picked him as our spouse. As I mentioned, Calypso and Altair also got themselves a nice little house since they had the monies. I grabbed this one off the gallery, but did some minor edits, especially to the like paint and exterior look, and I also made it a little bit bigger than it was originally built. It was already too big to be considered a tiny home, so I was like, well, if I don't get the benefits of a tiny home, then like, why am I limiting myself if there's space to stretch the house out a little bit? So I think it is absolutely stunning. It gives off some kind of witchy vibes. If we take a look inside, you can see here we have like the main living area. I used a lot of the stuff from the new um, gemstone pack. I can't think of what it's actually called. And then we have here the kitchen. I love the kitchen. I spent most of the time and money in here, and I think it probably shows. And since Calypso's gonna be spending lots of time baking, she needed a good kitchen. We also have a small little pooper. So that's it for the main floor. If we go upstairs, um, I clearly ran out of money by this point, so it's pretty bare, but we do have a bed, a double bed, so both of us can sleep, um, and then an empty extra room. Not much there. Upstairs though, at the very top, we have kind of a greenhouse little thing going on, which I think is cute. We have a little room for doing magic. And then out on the balcony, as you can see, we have the, the potion pot. Oh, and of course, our newly made over hubby. So both of these guys are super flirty. And you know, last episode, we didn't even have a bed, so they couldn't properly consummate their marriage. So I figured, you know, why not? Let's go ahead and have them do the deed, make this marriage official. And they had the double bed for it. I went ahead and had them woohoo because we are not trying to get pregnant and have a baby. We need to get a little bit further into our skills and into our requirements for this challenge. They both seem super happy to <laughs> oblige and consummate their marriage. So have fun, you two. Let's uh, go take a look and see what's going on outside here. Leave these two lovebirds to do their thing. So Altair, although he has the spellcaster and sorcery lifetime wish, he's a lot further behind than Calypso. So I'm just having him practice his magic, see if we can't learn a spell. He's such a cutie. I love his makeover. So he did learn the Reperio spell. That seems like a good one to have. Okay, and he's autonomously making some garden salad. Good choice, good choice. We're not trying to set the brand new house on fire. I love that for you. And since your wife is starving, I really hope that that's a group salad and not just a single serving. Oh, it looks like she's coming over to help cook. <laughs> she's like, I really hope you're adding some chicken to that salad. I'm too hungry for it to just be veggies. I need some meat. Come on, meat in my mouth. <laughs> He's like, fine, if you want meat, go make your own salad. This is a garden salad. She's like, nah, I think I'm gonna have some grilled cheese instead. Girl, you better not be making a fire. Listen, I know you're hot and sweaty, but we do not need a fire on our hands. Don't worry, no one saw. All right, we're level two cooking. So that's good. Go ahead and enjoy that mac and cheese. You deserve it, girl. Aw, flirting. 
so cute. You know, I really think we did good when we found Altair. Like, he's a, he's a good husband. Like, I am not too upset that we ended up with him. What? What? What is she... What is she doing? Oh my gosh. No! Don't tell me she's pregnant! What the heck? I did woohoo! I did woohoo! I didn't do try for baby. I did woohoo! Don't tell me she's pregnant! This legacy is going too fast! Is she pregnant? No. Let's take a pregnancy test. Oh, thanks, Altair. What a sweetheart. Okay, babe. Let's, uh... Find out if I accidentally am. <gasps> no! <laughs> She's knocked up! <laughs> I didn't want her to be pregnant! Oh, Tara, what kind of demon sperm do you have that knocked her up? I did woohoo! I didn't even think I had risky woohoo on! <laughs> This legacy's moving fast. <laughs> Don't look at me like that! <laughs> it's not my fault! So after such big news, I went ahead and sent Calypso off to bed because she is growing a baby and needs her beauty sleep. I cannot believe you, Altair. That is some magic potent sperm you have. Is that what you've been cooking up up here? Like some sort of potion to make you extra fertile? You know, honestly, I'd buy it. That was a that was a one shot, and that was a woohoo, like <laughs> risky woohoo. I didn't even know was on. But since Altair has the want to start a new career, and because we have this big fancy house and no income to pay the bills, um, let's go ahead and have him join a career. Um, you have a baby to provide for now, sir. Baby, a wife, and a house. So I was debating between the secret agent and the business careers because they both seemed like a good fit for him. But the secret agent's career started off with a $1 more, $17 an hour compared to six. So Altair is a new secret agent. That's exciting. I kind of feel bad, Calypso, for making you climb all these stairs while you're pregnant. But then again, I wasn't trying to get you pregnant, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you two should have been using protection. I thought you were, and you know, I guess oopsies happen. So I'm just getting Calypso to make some scrambled eggs and bacon, because she's hungry, and she is eating for two now. And she's level two cooking, so I'm not as worried about her setting the house on fire. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, though, at this point. <laughs> this whole legacy just feels like it's on fire. Oh, I know, girl. Your morning sickness is getting to you. I can tell. So today is SimWorld Day, which is a custom holiday. And of course, our outgoing little fairy wants to host a party. So you best clean up first, a little scrubberoo on the toilet. Get yourself clean, and I guess we can throw a party. We can make it a joint, uh, not really a gender reveal, but like pregnancy announcement party slash SimWorld Day party. And don't worry, I'm not worried about money at all, seeing how the only way we're making money right now is by selling frogs. <laughs> not worried about how we're going to support this baby. Nope. So let's go ahead and throw this party. I uh, looked through the different options. I thought about making it a weenie roast, but let's just keep it simple. Let's do a basic house party. Why not? Of course, Calypso's going to be our host. And for guests, she doesn't really have any friend friends, which I kind of feel bad about, but we were too focused on finding a hubby. So let's just invite all the witches. Not me purposely uh, avoiding Minerva, but I decided to invite her. I just didn't want her to die while she was over. Like, I feel like she doesn't last very long. And of course, we're going to host it at our house. It's like a housewarming party too. Housewarming, baby warming, sim world day party. So honestly, I didn't think the party was going to start right away. This legacy was just a lot. So I'm just about ready to go to bed. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to deal with this party in the morning. And then this happens. Acquired crab lice. 
Ew! <gasps> Ew! Did she get that from you? Ew! Well, you guys both got it at the same time, so is your bed infested? Gross! <laughs> Gross! Oh my goodness, the same. Okay. Well, I guess since Altair's hungry and one of the traditions today is to barbecue, we buy a grill. We even have this blue drum one. We don't really have a outdoor area set up that's like good for this kind of thing. So I guess we'll just stick this here. A little awkward to have in the front yard. Uh, you can admire his new position, sure. And then let's grill up some hamburgers, I guess. Uh -huh. What do you think of your grill? You want to make good use of it? <laughs> you have a bunch of guests over that we weren't really expecting to come this early, and my guess is they're going to want some food. All right. Uh-oh. She's feeling hysterical. Okay, she's back to very playful. Go to the bathroom and then calm yourself down. <laughs> this is already... So chaotic. We do not need you to uh, to die. I mean, I'm kind of excited to see what this whole life and death uh, expansion pack is about, but you dying pregnant with a child is not what we're going for. All right, burgers are done. Excellent. Um, let's pick up a serving. Yeah, good girl. You calm down. Let's try to carry this baby to full term, please. All right, she is doing much better. Looks like she's feeling a little sick though because of her pregnancy. Um, first trimester, she's still in? Yeah. So let's use some scrubberoo on that <laughs> in case any of the guests have to go to the bathroom. I guess let's socialize with our guests. Singing about Sim World Day. Vibe check. <laughs> Why not? Let's share our big news. In case y'all think that I let myself go after getting married. Um, <laughs> don't worry, I'm just pregnant. It happened on our first uh, consummation of our marriage. Um, that great of luck. <laughs> what are you trying to make there? Tofu tacos. I mean, that's very considerate of your guests. Some of them may be vegetarian and not into eating hamburgers. What a great hostess. I guess we should be paying attention to these goals, too. Um, I don't really know how we're supposed to have drinks. Like, where are we getting the drinks from? For the fridge? Yeah. I don't know where the drinks came from. Minerva? Is that just some magic trick that I have yet to learn? Um, let's talk about cooking... Oh my gosh, let's not kiss her hands. Um, that's creepy. Have my eye on you, sir. I hope you're a faithful guy. Can you tell a joke? You can tell a gross joke. Telling a joke about spiders. <laughs> okay, if we can make him flirty, I think we'll get credit for that. That would be excellent, because we're supposed to have Sims become flirty at the same time. And Altair counts as a guest, I guess and not a host. Everyone's gonna be like, we don't like coming over to your parties. You guys just make out and are gross the whole time. Like, sorry. Okay, yes, he's flirty. Oh, I think we have to, do we have to get three sims to be flirty? How the heck do we do that? I can't control if they're being flirty. And now she's only very happy. <laughs> oh, this party's not gonna go very well. Um, Where are people having drinks? Okay, we have two out of three drinks. Where are they getting drinks from? <laughs> Was it BYOB and I didn't know to bring my own to my own uh, party? Don't know if that's what they mean. Well, she has to have orange juice anyway because she's pregnant. So like, that's basically a mimosa for her. Surely that'll count, right? She can't have a regular mimosa. Will that count? I really, like, if we can get silver, I'll, uh, I can live with that for this impromptu party that I didn't realize I was starting <laughs> what I did. Yay! Oh, it's still not silver. 
And we don't have a cake. And we don't have any games. Oh my goodness, this party is gonna be a disaster. Our only hope is that everyone becomes flirty simultaneously. I guess we could have her grill too. All right, only a bronze. Well, it was a party at least. You'll find a consolation prize. <laughs> Lovely. Well, it was our first party. We'll get better. She did some grilling, so she's gonna probably have a good holiday. So at least there's that. Y'all, where'd you get the drinks? Is it some magic we don't know yet? How did you make that fancy drink? What a good husband, cleaning up after the party. You helped cook and you're doing the dishes. I think we really did find a keeper. So with our guests safely out of the house, we're gonna <laughs> try to practice some more magic. So Altair is working on his potions and I'm gonna go ahead and get Calypso to practice her practical magic. You never know what kind of spells will be helpful when you have a baby around. She's so cute, practicing her magic. Oh, that's right. We have to take care of her crab lice. <laughs> uh, I don't even, I guess maybe in the wonderful shop. All right, so let's use Scrubberoo on ourselves and see if that fixes us. I don't think it worked at all. Is there anything bad about doing it twice? Clean that crab lice from yourself. Didn't cure her of her lice. I guess we better <laughs> see if there's a way to go to a wonderful store, maybe? I guess we should also get her some pads and tampons while we're there, too. Lice killing shampoo. I think that's what we need. That's a lot of money, because... Altair has, <laughs> has the crab lice too. Y'all need to like clean your sheets. You should use scrubberoo on your sheets too. Can we do that? Is that even an option? Well, I guess this little nursery is gonna be put to use. So I wasn't recording, but I had Calypso use the shower. And we see here Calypso Grimrose used the lice killing shampoo and repelled all that crabby looking bugs living around her genitalia with the power of <laughs> gross. <laughs> oh, she doesn't have to fear contracting it for some time. Well, I'm glad you took care of that before you gave birth. Can you imagine? What if you gave that to your baby? What? What? Now we just need to give some to your husband to use so that he's safe from his crab lice. Go take care of business, buddy. But really, can we like clean our bed? No? I guess go to sleep. At least you're immune for a little bit. So Clipso's up and needs to get herself downstairs to go to the bathroom. Altair has come downstairs and is reading a book next to her. You're flipping the pages so delicately. That must be a really old book or something. Oh, I feel like you guys are going to actually make really cute babies together. Stale surroundings. He wants new things. Listen, man, we need to make more money first. Speaking of which, let's breed some frogs. All right, Calypso, let's see if we can go maybe get some things, some furniture. I don't know. Your husband's feeling stale surroundings. So I don't know if you guys remember me saying this, but I would really love for Calypso uh, to have a sort of side gig of restoring furniture. All right, let's try diving for some deals. See if we can restore furniture, either sell it or use it. I'm sad that we didn't really quite get our full rags to riches. Lily Fang is pregnant too. <laughs> and she is not happy that we are diving in this dumpster. I feel she's like, that is so bad for the baby. You really shouldn't be doing that. Oh, Altair, what's up? Um, <laughs> sorry to hear it. Not really. You married me, you dope. I'm glad you didn't go on a date with Pearl Allen. That would be a slap in the face. <sighs> Thanks, hud. <laughs> you just had to let me know, though, huh? Left me on a real cliffhanger there. I don't want dye. I want furniture. Come on now. Let's try this dumpster. See if we have any more luck. Yes. Okay. That's what I'm looking for. I want furniture that we can restore. 
<laughs> she is filthy. Oh my goodness, your hair is brown. Honey, there's no point in showering right now. You're just gonna keep diving. You know, we should really have, um, we should really have Altair doing this for us. Not having his pregnant wife diving in dumpsters. Come here, man. If she's doing it, oh, you're in your PJs. That's not awkward. You can at least be doing it over here. Oh, dive for thrills. Um, I was thinking more diving for deals. Oh, I guess we could do that. Oh, he's gonna just fly off to her. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't mean to click that, but I mean, I guess you guys could uh, go dumpster diving together. What's the harm? You already knocked her up once. <laughs> Just please don't contract more crab lice. You know, if this had happened in the first place, I would totally know where you got it from. But the fact that you're doing this after, I would think you guys would be more careful. Like, did you not learn that you can get gross stuff in gross places? Oh, if it wasn't a dumpster, that'd be a cute interaction. Oh boy. Sir, you should not be watching this. He just looks sad, like, I wish I had someone to get down and dirty with in a dumpster. Did you guys have fun? <laughs> oh, he does not look too happy with him. With them. Um, okay, die for deals. Oh, he's chatting with him, like, really? Man, you have a beautiful woman and you can't take her anywhere better to do that with? Okay, let's try some scrubberoo again. I know that won't help your bladder. There you go. Alright, let's just go home. Good job, you guys. So Calypso is supposed to grow, I think it's like three or five perfect plants. So, I guess we should probably get started on our garden now that we have this cute little greenhouse. Yes, she definitely likes gardening. Uh-oh, sage failed to germinate. Let's try it again, I guess. Nope, okay. For whatever reason, that pot doesn't want to work. Try it over here. I don't know if it's because it's so close to the steps or something. There we go. And then we can also grab this here, little sofa thing. And we can try a Reperio spell on it and see if we can turn it into something we can sell. Yay! Awesome! Cool! Okay, how much is it worth? Four twenty-five. That's pretty good. Um, for right now, I'm just gonna sell it this way. I'd love to eventually, like, actually open a shop and sell it, but we can't really do that right now. But I imagine that she, like, you know, listed it. Oh, I guess we could try listing it on. Can you list that on Flopsy if she didn't make it? But, like, I feel like she has, like, a furniture restoration shop on Plopsy. You know what I mean? So I went ahead and bought a dumpster. <laughs> so that we didn't have to go all the way to, uh, uh, what's that place? Ever, ever Green Harbor. And bonus, because Altair can admire his new pr possessions. So, yeah, now we can throw away our trash in here and then dive for deals. And it looks like he found a bed. So we can restore that in the morning and try to sell it for some money. All right, but we're going to go ahead and leave this episode here. I really hope that you're enjoying this series. Um, let me know if you have any good baby names. I haven't even really started to think about them. I know the next generation is based off of the Sixum Owl, so it could be anything kind of space, alien related, owl related. Um, I know in my last playthrough, I did names that were like owl names, so I had like... Um, Hedwig and like names like that, but I'm totally open to ideas of like what we should do to name our little baby So again, thanks so much for watching and until next time. Happy simming